Hi, I'm Tracy. My husband Nick and I come to France every year to enjoy French life. We search the markets for antiques and treasure for our business in New Zealand. Recently, we have bought a house in the southwest of France that we are renovating. Follow us on our journey as we take you through our weekly adventures. This week's video, I'd like to show you a bit of the house. It's always in a bit of a mess because we're either renovating or we're storing furniture in it. So I'll show you part of the house that's clean and tidy and um, through the weeks we'll show you various other parts of it. Um, but first I'd like to say a little bit about the history. Um, we only just found out who owned it and very fortunate that we met a woman that wanted to buy the house at the same time we did. Um, luckily we got in first but she's uh, maintained a relationship with us through the house and we keep showing her every year what we're doing to it so she doesn't worry. Anyway, in return, she has found the history of the house. She has the old deeds, photographs, um, all in French, so it's quite difficult to decipher. Uh, and she doesn't speak much English, so we've translated as much as we can on Google. <laughs> Um, it's taken her a long time, probably 18 months of extensive searching through different archives and she finally found out that the person that bought the house in 1877 was an ironmonger and had three hardware stores in this street which have now gone. Uh, they're, they're all houses now so um, there's one carpentry shop left which I assume is part of that old part. Um, his name was Antoine Hautser and his wife Anne. He built the house, we think he probably destroyed the first house, pulled it down as most of the houses in this area are uh, wood and brick. So they're very old sort of Tudor style houses.
of slowly renovating it. It's taking, it's going to take us a long time because we're only here three to five months a year, usually three. And in those, that time we're also buying items for the shop and we're having our tours that people come over and buy their own antiques. So we don't get a lot of downtime to do the um, renovating, but it's quite comfortable and we've had people staying probably 14 people staying so far. Anyway, we'll show you through. The living room was, and still is, quite dark, as people in the 1800s didn't worship the sun as much as we do now. So to try and lighten the room up without losing the antique gold and black wallpaper, <clears throat> we decided to paint the very dark and very scratched panelling, the doors, and freshen up the mirror surround. The ceiling has been hand-painted by local artisans, as well as the ceiling mouldings, and the carvings around the mirrors. We bought the chandelier in a Bordeaux market, which really complements the moulding. Most of the furniture will be taken back to New Zealand, except for the lighting and mirrors and some of the paintings. We really never expected to live in a, such a formal house, even though I love it. We were always thought we would be in a farmhouse somewhere in the country, but we fell in love instantly. We made an offer an hour after seeing it, and we haven't regretted it yet. <laughs>